So another way we can use matrices is the Leslie matrices. Now it's used to calculate animal populations over time or populations over time. Um, now there's two factors that go, or let's simplify this. There's two factors that go into populations of animals. Some animals are born every year, which increases the population, and some animals die every year, which decreases the population. So we'll look at the interplay of those and how we can um, approximate the um, population over time. So let's look at the initial population first of all. Uh, now these are the ages at the end of the first year of our rats, let's say. Uh, now there are 55 one-year-old rats, 32 two-year-old rats, and 25 three-year-old rats. Now we've put them into age brackets because um, their, their uh, reproduction rates at different ages will be different and also their survival rates at different ages will be different. So this is going to give us a more accurate picture. So here we have a breakdown of our fecundity rates. Fecundity isn't just another word for reproduction rates. So the average one-year-old rat um, has 0.6 babies in a year. The average two-year-old rat, this is prime reproduction time, has 2.4 babies in a year. And the average three-year-old is having 0.5 babies in a year. So we could probably calculate how many babies we expect uh, by taking 55 and multiplying it by 0.6, 32 and multiplying it by 2.4, and 25 and multiplying it by 0.5. Finally, we have our survival rates. We expect a survival rate of 0.5 for one-year-olds. That means half of the one-year-olds are going to survive, half aren't going to survive and a survival rate of 0.6 for the two-year-olds. Um, that means 0.6 will survive, 0.6%, 60% will survive, 40% won't. Now, you might be wondering, where's the number three? None of them, zero. Um, important to remember that these are survival rates. So if you're told 80% perish, that means 20% survive. So you need to make sure you're treating them as survival rates. With all of this information, we can start to build our Leslie matrix. So here's what a Leslie matrix looks like. Uh, ignore the initial population. The initial population doesn't go in our Leslie matrix. What does go in there is fecundity or reproduction and survival rate. So notice here, the fecundity rates are going to go along the first um, row. And the survival rate is going to go along what we call the sub-diagonal. So survival rate 1, survival rate 2. So we're just going to replace all of those numbers with those numbers. The rest of the numbers are just zeros. So we only need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values in our Leslie matrix. So there's my Leslie matrix, filled in all of my values from fecundity and filled it in from survival rate. Now I just need a, an initial matrix, the initial population. So that's 55 one-year-olds, 32 two-year-olds, and 25 three-year-olds. Now I've got these two matrices, we can uh, do some matrix multiplication to find out survival rates over time, or populations over time. So the question we're going to try to answer is, calculate the total rat population after six years. Uh, now the formula, this is really the only thing you need to remember, that and how to create a Leslie um, matrix. So the number of popula the size of the population after R years is equal to the Leslie popul population to the power of, or sorry, the Leslie matrix to the power of R minus 1 times the initial population. So population after 6 years, so N6 equals the Leslie to the power of 5 times the original uh, N1. I'll just write those in properly. All right, so N6 equals the Leslie uh, matrix to the power of 5 times the initial population. Now, just do the uh, matrix multiplication here, and you'll get three numbers, 521.9, 171.9, and 73.3. Now that's the number of one-year-olds, two-year-olds, and three-year-olds. So if you add those numbers together, you'll get 767.1 females 
Right, so obviously that doesn't make a lot of sense, so we'll probably just round it down to 767. But be really, really careful because the question says calculate the total rat population after six years. We've calculated the number of females, so we probably need to take that number and multiply it by two. So total population equals 767.1 times two equals uh, 1534.2 which is just 1,534 total rats. All right, so you just need to be able to take that information, put it into a Leslie matrix, and then use our formula here and some matrix multiplication.